What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Ohio State Spring Game but if you haven't please like share subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads and by doing so it greatly helps out my channel and it helps me grow as a content creator. Well Ohio State had their spring game and uh, I jotted down some notes of what I saw. The uh, Scarlet team beat the Gray team 34 to 26 and um, another thing that I noticed that you know a lot of the Stars of the team didn't get a lot of playing time, but the offense was looking really, really good, guys. They actually scored on four of their uh, six possessions that they had, guys. So, uh, looks like they're going to roll over that high-octane offense that they have, guys. Now, speaking of the offense, I'm going to start with the quarterbacks. You know, C.J. Stroud, he was 14 of 22 passing. And he had 20, 120 yards and one touchdown. And then Cal McCord. He was 14 for 20 passing, and he had 129 yards passing with one touchdown. Then he had Devin Brown, who had 11. He was 11 for 24 passing, and he had 141 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. And like I said, the guys, the uh, quarterbacks looked really, really good. Uh, we all know C.J. Stroud is going to be the guy. But the guys behind him, you know, show potential as well, guys. So, you know. Be interesting to see who will get the, uh, the second quarterback spot. Then uh, the running game looked good as well, guys. Uh, we all know Travion Henderson. Uh, he's going to be the clear number one, but he, he's going to need some help behind him. So, you know, another guy that I saw that kind of flashed was Evan Pryor, and he had 106 yards and one touchdown on 13 touches. So uh, the running game is going to look pretty good. And, um, he showed some burst and some wiggle. Uh, he can also catch out the backfield, guys. So he's he's going to be a do-it-all back guy. So that's going to be needed in the offense. Then another guy that I saw was Meon Williams. He rushed 15 times for 101 yards. So like I said, guys, uh, got to build quality depth behind Travion Henderson. You know, uh, he's going to definitely be the starter, and he's going to need somebody to give him a break. So. Run game looked really, really good, guys. Then the tight ends, uh, they're stacked at tight end, guys. Uh, the two guys that stood out to me was G. Scott. He looked really good. Then they had Joe Royer, and he caught a touchdown from Cal McCord. So, like I said, uh, they're stacked at tight end. And uh, the tight end is going to be, you know, a position group that's probably going to be utilized more this offseason, guys. And uh, then – Going into the season, you know, I expect them to use the tight ends, you know, well more often in the offense. We all know they're they're talented at wide receiver, but to get the tight ends involved is going to be huge for the Ohio State offense, and it's just going to make them that much better, guys. So uh, the offense is looking pretty good, guys. Um, wide receiver, uh, Caleb Burton, uh, he got open on a lot of uh, plays, guys. Uh, you know, he's going to be a guy to look out for. Uh, his speed is, is really, really good, and he's definitely going to be a guy to look out for. And then Keon Graves is another guy. So, like I said, the offense is looking like it's going to be pretty, pretty good, guys, for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Then we'll switch over to the defense of what I saw. Uh, Jim Knowles, um, on his debut, he didn't show too much. He threw a little, a uh, couple of exotic plays in there, but uh, that's understood, you know. You know, not to show too much. Uh, you don't want to show too much with the uh, season opener. So, but uh, Jim knows is a pretty good uh, defensive coordinator, guys. Uh, while he was at Oklahoma State, he had a top defense guys in the country. So, uh, Ohio State fans should be uh, very optimistic of what he gonna, he's going to bring. So, in a DB that I saw that, that stood out, we already know Denzel Burt. And Cam Burton, they're probably going to start at the two corner positions. You know, those are two guys. Uh, they got a lot of playing time, and they should fill in for those corner spots. But Cal Stacks and Jordan Hancock, uh, both of those guys played pretty good, guys. They was getting after the quarterback, and uh, they looked pretty good. And that's going to bring, you know, depth in the backfield, you know, as far as the Buckeye defense. And then the D-line. The D-line is going to be a strength this year, guys. Uh, Ohio State's D-line is going to be pretty pretty good. Uh, JT Tuomaalu, I 
probably butchered his last name, but uh, him and Jack Sawyer, those guys are beasts. Uh, they're very quick. And um, Ohio State, from what I've seen, they got a lot of guys on the D-line that they can rotate. So that's definitely going to be a strength for them this season. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do on defense, guys. Like I said, they, Ohio State is very, very good at offense. And uh, the last couple of years, they've been lacking in the defense of category. But uh, this season looked like it's going to make a turnaround, guys. So I'm going to be watching. Um, but what you guys think, you know, leave your comments, your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, once again, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tight.